Hi, welcome to AXI's lab. Today we're going to conduct a little experiment showing the combustion difference between a gasoline and a gasoline treated with AFC 710. Uh, now AFC 710 comes in two different products, a liquid based and a powder based. Today we're going to use the powder based so you can see the diffusion throughout the fuel without any mixing. So in this beaker here, or this flame candle, we're going to put the AFC treated fuel and in this one we're going to put the regular base fuel from the pump. Um, now the first thing we're going to do is basically take out these wicks and turn them around because we're going to want to get the wick wet. We don't want to burn the, the wick itself, we want to burn the fuel that's on the wick. So that's the real purpose of a wick. So first we're going to fill the, the base fuel to a certain level. Make sure you have safety precautions on site, especially if you're dealing with gasoline. I don't recommend doing this unless you're a trained professional. And now I'm going to add the AFC to the other one before we actually add the gasoline. This will give it a little extra time to, to dissolve before we get started. So, Now the treatment ratio of the AFC 710 powder is 1 gram to 15 gallons, but uh, here we're going to over treat a little bit. And there's no, no problem over treating your fuel with AFC. Uh, you can't hurt the fuel. All you're going to really make is expensive fuel. So, Now we're going to add the gasoline to the secondary beaker with the AFC 710. about the same level so we get the same experimental results. Now we're going to dip the two wicks down into the fuel. Let them sit for just a second. You want to absorb as much of the fuel onto the wick as you can. And then we're going to pull the wick back through. And we're going to get very, very short wick. We don't want to burn the wick here. We want to burn the fuel. So I'm going to get it right up to the edge here. And then we're going to turn it around, dip it back in. Same thing with the regular gasoline. Very, very close to the top. Dip it back in. So that looks about the same for both samples. Uh, now we're going to light the two samples and watch the difference in combustion. So you can see we've got two different flames here. Let them start burning. Now you can see the one on the left is starting to smoke. Now that's a good indication of incomplete combustion. You can see it start to build up. Now if we tip the paper and then we let these two smoke onto the paper, we're going to notice an immediate difference in the discoloration on the paper. So you can see here, incomplete combustion on the one without AFC, complete combustion on the right, less smoke. That's a good indication.